<laughs> going? It happens to many men after marriage, Ryan. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Are you on some baby mission now? Oh, uh, no. Not, not yet. No, no. Good. good. <laughs> Enjoy each other first. Yeah. Um, you need happy memories so that when the kids piss you off, you've got some like, do you remember those halcyon days when we kind of... <laughs> I know. Um, I've decided to organise my drawers. I've decided to organise my drawers. Uh, J'ai décidé uh, organiser. J'ai décidé uh, d'organiser. J'ai décidé d'organiser uh, ma tiwa. Good job, Metiwa, though. Metiwa. Um, it's crazy that I have so many clothes for sport. Mm. But they're all fucking bland. This is what we've been discovering. Yeah. Fourth class. They're all grey, green, dark blue. Nah, nah, nah. So I'm on a mission to be slightly more cheerful. So, oh. Stephanie, it's crazy, which is a neutral statement, that I have so many clothes for sport. C'est faux. Uh, 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 c'est fou. C'est fou. fou. Que uh, j'ai. Good. Now pause. Do you notice that j'ai is the subjunctive? But we don't care because j'ai is the subjunctive and it's also the normal verb, isn't it? It's just spelled differently. So okay. if I said it's crazy that he has, so say for me it's crazy that he has. C'est fou. Uh, que il a. Il est. <laughs> subjunctive. Il Go again. Uh, c'est fou qu'il a, il est. Go again smoothly, get used to doing that. C'est fou qu'il qu y est. No, qu'il y est is another good subjunctive, good man, good man, good man. That's be, it's mad that there is, but we're saying that he has. Uh, qu'il est, qu'il est. C'est fou qu'il est. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Est. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Every part of your being wants to go, il a. Yeah. Don't. C'est fou qu'il est. Um, est lovely. So, Stephanie, it's mad that I have so many clo um, clothes for sport. C'est fou que j'ai beaucoup de vêtements pour le sport. You always say that word, vêtement, vêtement. Vêtement pour le, pour le sport. Le sport. Le sport. I'm also a little bit weirdly psychic with clothes, and I always, I always remember things when I touch them. So like there's a t-shirt that I really remember from so many happy times. So like this like yellow piping yeah. and I don't want to get rid of it. But like Luke, it's a damn rag. C'est un chiffon. Yeah. A chiffon. We say un chiffon. chiffon. Yeah. A chiffonnier is like um a rag selling person, like a ragamuffin kind of thing, you know. Um um yeah, Luke, that can go in the clothing bin down the road. Um oh I found something grey with a bit of colour. I found something grey with a bit of colour. Uh, J'ai trouvé quelque chose de uh, gris. Gris, gris, gris. gris. Um, avec uh, un peu colour. Give me the pronunciation of a bit again. Un peu, un peu. Is it A, un peu, B, un peu? Which one is it? Un peu, peu. That was both, don't cheat. <laughs> Un peu. Un peu. Pou, that was a different sound. Pou is head lice. Un peu de couleur. Un peu. Un peu. P-E-U, search me. Un peu de couleur. Un peu de couleur. What might be happening is you might be visualising an E and U pronounced on their own, as in I have had, is J-U, isn't it? J-U. But anywhere else, uh, je veux, je peux. Yeah? Good? Okay. Right. Lovely. Um, small i want neons i don't know why i'm just craving the brightness of of of, of an illuminous neon color mm -hmm. um i want a running vest this color i mean the problem is because i'm so white it looks crap but like whatever. <laughs> <laughs> good to so save me um uh do we know the verb to itch sagrat so say so since my operation it itches which i think is healing <laughs> uh, off you go so say so since my operation itches uh, depuis mon surgery. Yeah. Clever, 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 but don't make a rod for your own back. Ma chirurgerie, but we don't need chirurgerie, we need mon opération, because chirurgerie is hard of you to say. Uh, 
Depuis mon apparition, euh... ça gratte, c'est ça gratte. Ça gratte. Lovely. It's the mayo. We call, you might think of a mayo. You would think, probably think of a mayo as um, like little speedos and all this kind of stuff. Mm. Um, but a mayo could be any sports jersey. Mm. Yeah, anything at all. If you think of the, the um, Tour de France, the, you know, the guy that's up front um, mm -hmm. is in the mayo jaune. Yeah, OK, so a mayo. OK, so say for me, this sports jersey, sports top, was a present from my friend Les because his son was a trainer for the team in Australia. So we'll go slowly. So this um, sports jersey was a present from my friend Les. C'est moyen. Ce. Ce moyen. Ce mayo. Ce mayo. Ce mayo. Ce mayo. Mayo is basically what you put on a sandwich. Yeah, so ce mayo. Sa mayo. Su mayo. O I O. Su mayo. Su mayo. Lovely. Was a present. Uh, Ete un cadeau. From my friend Les. Um, du mon ami not Les. Du, not du, from. Uh, de. De. Thank you. My friend Les. Mon ami Les. Because uh -huh. his son. Uh, parce que son fils était en euh, entraîneur entraîneur pour, pour la team. pour ce équipe cette équipe cette équipe lovely in Australia Australia en Australie en Australie let's go through again um, this sweatshirt so, so my, come on, say it again, this one, so my, so my good, nice, well done, was a present, uh, it's a cadeau, it's a young cadeau, lovely, from my friend Les, uh, do mon not ami do, Les, do, is the wrong word, not do, 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 uh, do mon ami Les, lovely, um, Parce que son fils était un, train, trainer, un, un entraîneur. Entraîneur. Pour le team. Pour l'équipe. Pour l'équipe. Pour, pour cette équipe, I don't mind, lovely. In pour Australia. Au uh, Australie. No, feminine country on. En Australie. That's it. Well done. Um, it's red. Uh, uh, il est rouge. Oh, yeah. Because we're talking about mayo. Yeah, so say for me, it's red. Il est rouge. Il est rouge. Good. Okay. Um, but. Um, um, I don't know if I'm going to wear it today. <laughs> it might be a bit much. So I don't know if I'm going to wear it today. Uh, je ne sais pas uh, si um, je vais porter. Je vais le porter. Je vais le porter aujourd'hui. Nice. Okay. It's perhaps a bit too much. C'est un. Non, un, we're not in Spanish. Un, un, un. Perhaps. C'est peut-être un peu trop. Uh, C'est peut-être uh, un, un peu, peu trop. 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 Un peu trop. Yeah, okay, a bit too much, un peu trop. Um, save me, what do you think? Um, Qu'est-ce que tu as fait? No, what, that's what did you do? Which suggests a guilty conscience, right? Save me, what do you think? Qu'est-ce que tu... Qu'est-ce que tu uh, penses? No, present tense, what do you think? Qu'est-ce que tu penses? Lovely, nice work. Okay. Um, uh, excellent. Um, 
I'm going to wear it in December because it's perfect for Christmas. Um, je vais le porter uh, on December. Think the preposition we need for this, this. So this is why you've got to twang more so that you guys have a muscle memory of prepositions because on and a have a different value, don't they? So say for me in December. En décembre. Good, en décembre, lovely. Because it's perfect for Christmas. Parce que c'est parfait pour le Noël. Weirdly, as proud as I am that you remember to try and pop an, um, um, an article before um, a noun. That was difficult, me saying was <laughs> an article before a noun. You don't need one with Noël. So, uh, parce que c'est parfait pour Noël, all right? Uh, if you're saying the Christmas of 1999, whatever, you know, fine, le Noël de 1999, good. Um, so say for me, um, now I need to prepare my bag for later. Uh, maintenant, uh, je dois préparer mon sac pour le retard. Le, le retard. We've done this before. Later is more late pour uh, plus tard. Nice plus. plus, nice plus. Pour plus tard, good, okay. Tard. Lovely. Oh, en retard is to be late, okay. Um, lovely. I wash my backpacks because you put them in dirty places, don't you drop them on the floor or whatever, whatever, you know, so, so for me, I like to wash my backpack. Sarah, yesterday, she's like, you're always doing laundry. I was like, pardon me, you filthy bitch. I was like, sorry if you're not, sorry if you don't wash your stuff. Um, uh, <laughs> so, God bless her. So say for me, Sarah, yesterday. Uh, Sarah, yeah. Good. She said. Hello, D. Nice D, nice high D, nice high high D, <laughs> with her grandfather in the mountains. Nice high D. So she said, um, "You are always in the process of doing washing, of, of, of doing your laundry." Tu es. Uh, tu es toujours. En train, en train, en train, en train de, en train de, de, en train de. No, tu es toujours en train de faire. Uh, yeah, your. Uh, do you know what I mean? Tu es toujours en train de faire your uh, um your um what do you call it? Your 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 you know lessive linge. Yeah, you you know washing your clothes. Yeah. I said to her. Um. Uh, je lui ai dit. Nice vowels. These vowels are good. Very good. The twang is there. You're not making English sounds. Je lui ai dit. Good. Um, um, you're dirty. Tu es sale. Tu es sale. Nice high A. Sale. Good. Um, and it's uh, because I try to do lots of sport. Tu es sale et c'est parce que c'est à cause du. Pause, pause, pause. Remember with the because. Two of them are because is where you've got a noun, because of the situation, because of the situation, positive. That's your à cause de grâce. If your because then has a person who is named doing a verb, you use parce que. So everybody loves Luke. <laughs> because let's go with his funny. OK, so um, tout le monde adore Luke parce qu'il est marrant. OK. Um, everybody loves Luke because of his humor. Tout le monde adore, or everybody tolerates Luke because of his humor. Tout le monde adore Luke à cause de, because son humor is obviously his humor. Yeah. So we're late because of the meeting. On est en retard à cause de la réunion. Or, you know, thanks to the meeting, we now know it. Grâce à la réunion. Okay. Because the meeting started at four o'clock, that is a verb being carried out by a named subject. The meeting is starting. So that's why we have Pasco. And if you want a fancier one, if you want where there's a verb being named, but we don't say who does it. So because of working with Luke or through working with Luke, but because of working with Luke, Ryan's French has improved. That is a new word, thos new word de plus verb a force de travailler avec luke so that if you think of it as like a, a friend's app avant que versus um 
appraise avoir and appraise être and all that business. It's exactly the same thing. So the two because there's with nouns are à cause for you at the moment are à cause de and um, uh, grâce à, and the two with verbs are passé que, which is the one you know, and à force de going to the infinitive. There are obviously legion of other things we can use. So like um, due to, du à, du au, you know, if it's masculine, mm. um, vu, vu la situation, because the situation, given the situation, vu la situation, étant donné, being given the situation. But if you just keep with those main four, we will be fine. All right. But when yeah. your brain hears because, you always want to say parce que or à cause de, and you sometimes get it the wrong way around. All of you do it. Just think if a noun, noun is coming up, à cause de or grâce à, positive or negative. Yeah. Good. Um, so say for me, um, um, Luke, thank you for having explained the difference. Luke, thank you for having explained the difference. Uh, Luke, I must say, miss, merci. Merci à toi. Um, yeah, no, thank you for having explained the difference. Merci d'avoir. Merci de voir um, pour... No, 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 no. Again, a similar situation. Are you thanking me for a noun? Thank you for the present. Are you thanking me for a verb? Merci de uh, for a verb. Merci d'avoir expliqué. Yeah, different situation. Do you understand? It's going to verb. So thank you for explaining the situation. Um, um, merci de... D'avoir, d'avoir. D'avoir um, expliqué la situation. Good. It's a lot clearer. Um, c'est c'est plus clair. Good. But unfortunately, uh, mais malheureusement, um, you make me want coffee. Um, I will forget it because it's your curse, Luke. Malédiction. Malédiction. Yeah. I will okay. forget it because it's your curse, Luke. <laughs> Uh, uh, What's the je, je Good, good, because it's your curse. Parce que, parce que ton malédiction. Good. What's the last three letters of malédiction? Uh, sure. Answer my question. What are the last three letters? Uh, I on. Therefore, what does that mean is going to happen? Gender-wise, what does that mean is going to happen? Um, feminine. Does that make it male or female if it ends in I O N? Female. Good, so say for me, your curse. Ta malédiction. Good, malédiction, lovely. Okay. Malédiction. Um, um, right, pardon me being personal, but I've lost my underwear. Um, <laughs> What have we done with that? It was ready. We were good to go. Okay, so Stephanie, I've lost my underwear. Uh, J'ai perdu mon... Uh, uh, get your vowel back up in the air. J'ai perdu... J'ai perdu uh, mon sous-vêtement. Lovely. Um, I found it. Stephanie, I found it. Uh, je je l'ai trouvé. Je l'ai trouvé. Je l'ai trouvé. Lovely. So now I need some socks. Um, maintenant, j'ai besoin. But use for a noun. Use for a noun. Il me. Il me faut. Um, chaussures. No, des chaussettes. Yeah. Des um, des sachets. Chaussettes. Des chaussettes. Chaussettes. Okay. Because. Oscar? The verb to stretch is étirer. When you stretch yourself, s'étirer. So say for me, I need to wear them in order to stretch. Like when we do class and we slide and stuff, you need socks on your feet. So say for me, étirer. Étirer. Now put the reflexive at the beginning. S'étirer. On which reflexive would it be if it were for me? Um. Yes, so, me, I need some socks in order to stretch myself. Il me faut des chaussettes pour. Uh, il me faut des stretch myself pour mettre. Pour mettre. That's it, go again. 
Uh, il me faut des sochettes. Uh, des chaussettes, yeah. Des chaussettes. Chaussettes, and again, chaussettes. Chaussettes. Uh, pour... Pour m'attirer. Good, one more time. Il me faut des chaussettes pour m'attirer. Il me faut des chaussettes pour m'attirer. Lovely. Um, I have a bag for my clean clothes. Uh, J'ai un sac pour uh, mes vêtements nettoyés. No, that's too clean. My clean clothes. Mes vêtements. And what's the word for clean? With an um, a p. Uh, propre. Propre. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. J'ai un sac pour mes vêtements. Make now make it clean. Propre. Uh, J'ai un sac pour mes, mes vêtements, papa. And I have a bag for my... Well, they're not exactly dirty and soiled, but you know what I mean, like wet clothes after Jesus. And I have a bag yeah. for my dirty clothes. Et j'ai un sac uh, pour uh, mes vêtements sales. Good. And what's the word for wet? Uh, Moilé. You are really doing so well with your vocab. It's really, really going to the roof. Well done. Mouillé, mouillé. Well done. Yeah. Good. Well done, Ryan. You're really flying with vocab. Um, 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 I have created a space in the drawer for my... I'm not even going to attack underwear yet. <laughs> it's just too... It's just too much to organise. Um, so I have created a space... No, look, that's not the attitude. That is not the attitude. Let's get it done. Let's get it done. I have created a space in the drawer for my shorts. J'ai créé un espace dans le tiroir pour mes souvenirs. Good. I found a bag. What the hell is this? <laughs> oh, nothing special. What's at the back of the drawer? Um, mm. Uh, lovely. Right, keep, stay calm, stay calm. Save me. The situation is frightening because, um, actually, it's not. Do you know what? I'm just giving you that for grammar. Did I tell you about my radical sock change a few years ago? No. So this is so, so dumb. I just was like, because I don't like balling socks because I'm like, you, you're constantly stretching the one. Yeah. And so I was like, Luke, you only ever wear the same kind of sock. You only ever wear like, because if, if unless I have to, I love being barefoot. So I was like, I went and bought, I got rid of it, loads of stuff. So if it was like, so I got a load of like white, sort of like Nike style, like taller ones that went up the leg a little bit. Like if I was wearing like big sneakers or going for a walk or something. Um, and then I got a load of like the little ankle ones that you can't see under your, yeah, in grey. Yeah. And then I just got a few black ones for if I was wearing like smart shoes or like boots right. or something. Do you know what I mean? And I literally just had the three. And then if somebody buys me some novelty, and I love buying people socks, that's the really weird thing. I, I you know, I used to love the whole novelty fun sock kind of thing. But like, um, you know, when you're younger and you get socks as a present from like some random relative, you, you're devastated. But when you're older, you love it. You're like, oh, cool, useful. <laughs> Um, so, but yeah, so in other words, I only have three types. I have like the little white, the big white, the, the little gray, the big white and the, um, and, and the, the black. And that way I used to just put them all in a carrier bag, divided in the drawer. No problem. Yeah. It was, my OCD was completely comfortable with that, but yeah, but anyway. Yeah, I did that um, too a couple of years ago. I just had the same gray sock. So I just throw them all in there and yeah. And also it's like. I'm not one of these pig boys that would repeat where it's like on off into the wash. Yeah. You know? So it's like, it's where's the them. problem? Where's the problem? Yeah. Good. Lovely. So say for me, we are going to divide the drawer into th four piles. We are going to divide the drawer into four piles. We've also got like, you know, undies and things going on. Yeah. So say for me, um, what's our word for underwear? Uh, Sous-vêtements. Sous-vêtements. Sous yeah. Vêtements. Urban camouflage in case I ever walk around in my underwear <laughs> in an urban environment. Just just me in my underwear. Yeah. 
Fair so I'll, I'll be able to blend in perfectly in urban. I, I'd be like, like a chameleon against the wall. <laughs> Where's Luke? Where's Luke? With so his naked chest and ass out. <laughs> it's like, I'll be a veritable X Men, won't I? With my with my with my urban camo. <laughs> Good. So, save me. We're going to divide the draw into four piles. And again, we are going to divide the draw into four piles. Uh, so long. Divide. Divise. 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 Um, uh, la Tiwa. Bon. La Quatre. Yeah, see, you see, we've got, we've got black going in the grey. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, so we're going to divide the draw into four parts. And again, we're going to divide the draw into four parts. Nous avons, nous avons divisé la Tiwa dans la Quatre. Ta. Ta. Yeah, fast ta. Okay. Or a very good French verb, nous allons faire le tri. Nous allons faire le tri. Faire nous le tri. tri. Trier. Have you heard of a triage nurse? Yeah? yeah. When we go to like a hospital. Um, faire le tri is, um, is, um, is, uh, is, is basically the act of dividing it into, you know, um, um, different, like sorting stuff out. Okay, so um, to save me, I have started to put all the black socks in a bag. I have started to put all the black socks in a bag. Uh, j'ai commencé. Um, what comes after commencer? J'ai commencé. Ah, j'ai commencé à uh, mettre all the black socks. Uh, les chaussettes noires. Yeah. Uh, dans le sac. And then you see, you get, you get that little, you get that little renegade son of a bitch, like a little, do you know what I mean? A little, yeah. and I'm like, no, do you know what? It's black. The ankle is black. No one can see Father Christmas. Um, good. Um, save me. Last week, I bought myself something funny. Uh, la semaine dernière, um, j'ai acheté, je me acheté. Je me suis acheté. Je me suis acheté um, quelque chose du amusant. Can you see what it says on these socks? <laughs> Shut up, legs, you're fine. Because you know my Cipro, my legs really hurt. Uh, Good. Um, so, so for me, um, um, there is something funny written on it. Um, il y a... Quelque chose d'amusant, um, écrivant. Il y a quelque chose d'amusant written on it. Écrit. Écrit. Dessus. Dessus. Because it's not sur, because you're not then saying the word. Dessus yeah. is when it's on it, isn't it? What other words work like that, Ryan? Dedans, but inside it. Yeah? Uh. Dessous, but underneath it. So what is what is inside? Which of the three was inside? De, uh, dessous. Uh, de, de, dedans. Good. What was on top? De, um, Just think, they all link to the original word. Su, uh, S-U, dessus. Yes. Dessus. Under, sous, so underneath, dessous. Dessous. In, dans, inside, dedans. Dedans. And make sure we're not saying dessus because that's disappointed. Spelt differently, yeah? All right, good. Um, so save me. Um, there, there is something funny on it. Il y a... Uh, il y a quelque chose d'amusant. Uh, on it? De, de ce. Good. Okay. Um, I need a bag for the white socks. Uh, il me faut un sac pour les chaussettes uh, blanches. Good. But I am sad. Say, I am sad. Uh, mais je, je suis triste. Because I have started to find the socks I used to wear with my horses. Um, parce que uh, j'ai trouvé... J'ai commencé... À trouver, I've started to find. Oh, j'ai commencé à trouver um, les chaussettes um, 
that I used to wear, tense. Que uh, je portais. I used, thank you. Um, quand uh, je, je, je fais les chevaux. Je faisais de l'équitation, but basically, um, I just said with my horses, avec mes. Avec mes chevaux. Good. Um, oh God, how much of a flashback? I'm finding all my kind of like COVID masks and stuff. Ugh. Oh. Ugh. Lovely. Um, um, I have divided the white socks into two piles. Uh, je divise. Um, J'ai divisé. J'ai divisé. divisé. Um, uh, les chaussettes. Uh, Feminine. Blanc. Uh, blanche. Yeah. Blanche. Between. Entre. Entre trois. Ça. Between, no, bet between two piles. Oh, between two. Uh, entre two. Um, what was piles? Ta. Ta. I gave it you earlier. Ta. Ta. Yeah. Okay. Um, the verb is entasser when things pile up or s'entasser. So I've piled it up. J'ai entassé or ça s'entasse. That's piling up. Okay. Um, 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 because there are two brands. Um, parce que il y a du mark. Get the word, get the pronunciation right for two. <laughs> Il y a deux marques. Good, well then. We yeah. have um, Puma, Puma, and no, that's Adidas, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. Adidas, Adidas, and you say Adidas, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. And we have Puma, and you say Puma, don't you? Yeah. Um. um I've almost finished this shit. Um, this is going to sound so old man as well, but um, I love a flannel. Like if, if I'm not, if I go to the gym or the dance place and they don't have a shower, bleh, I literally take like um, washing stuff with me, fill a sink. I don't give a shit who's there. I'll drop to naked. I'll fill the sink with soapy water. I'll be like, la, 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 with my I just don't understand this concept that people are like, you know, um, the, the guy I love is the cleanest, but I mean, don't get me wrong, like the smell when someone smells warm is just delicious, isn't it? But like when they're fresh and it's them, but like, I just don't understand these kids that are like, they seem to think, a they seem to think like, so we call it Lynx and you call it Axe, you know, like, yeah. that, that, oh God. And they seem to think so, that yeah. is going to undo bacteria. No. It's disgusting. So say for me, um, I like to wash myself. Uh, J'aime uh, me, me laver. Okay, I've got hair bands and shit from when I had long hair. Um, <laughs> um, I think it's um, a question of importance when you are an adult man. Uh, je pense in, uh, sure. Que c'est en question d'importance. Um, quand je suis. When you are. Wow, we've, it's 34 minutes. You've been, we've only done 34. You've got 25 minutes left. You've done so much vocabulary. Well, then. Um, when. Um, I was just checking, had time for a coffee. When um, you are an adult man. Um, quand tu es un homme. Um, adult. 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 Good. Uh, one second. Oh, this is going to feel mentally nice. This is going to feel mentally nice. Um, just give the draw a little wipe. Lovely. Um, Underwear in, main shit in, main shit in. And they're tiny because I wear, I'm not a whore, but I wear whore underwear. Like I wear just smallest <laughs> little slips and stuff because of um, 
uh, horse riding and all kinds of stuff. So yeah. not that I do that anymore, but you just you need tight ones when you horse riders. I'm sure you can imagine. Yeah. <laughs> so say for me, Luke, you are going to put the socks that you use more often in front. Luke, you are going to put the socks that you use more often in front. Uh, Luke, uh, tu vas mettre um, les chaussettes. La plus que tu use more often. Que you use, tu utilises. Utilise um, plus plus often. Um, plus souvent. Plus souvent. Uh, in France. Plus souvent. Good. And those. Feminine, 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 feminine plural, and those that you use less often behind. Uh, is that? Cell, cell, cell. Cell. Um, that you use less often. Que tu utilises. Utilise. These are nice vowels, Ryan. Less often. Moi, souvent. Lovely. Behind. Uh, de, yeah. Good. Do you know microfiber cloths like when you clean a car? Yeah. They are the best shit for your face or body because of the, the microfiber element of like Paul's dirt off. So I bought like a load of oh. microfiber cloths for um for like, you know, a car. Like not just, a, you know, you know, like instead of a chamois leather, they're so much better. Um, yeah. And then I chopped them in. This is, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I chopped them into purpose little squares <laughs> so I can take them. <laughs> I'd rather have a shower. Like two out of three of the dance places I go to have a shower. Yeah. But one of them does not. So deux sur toi, deux sur toi, ils ont une douche. But twice a week I do two classes back to back in my own easy body ache way. But like, um, mais deux fois par semaine, je fais deux cours d'affilée, deux cours à la suite. And it's like, so there's half an hour in between, so I wouldn't always shower for that. Sometimes, yes, alors je prends pas de douche, but I'll have a sink wash between the classes. Mais je prends, je me lave, effectivement, what's the word for a sink that you, so not a sink in the kitchen, which is an évier, what's a sink in the bathroom, a lavabo, okay? Yeah, so um, these I'm going to put in front because they're also very important, okay? Um, I don't know if I want to keep the COVID masks, seen as COVID was the worst thing in the entire world. I also bought a load of nice white ones. Say for me, because once. Uh, parce que une fois. I went to a hotel. Um, je suis allé au hotel. You do that every week. Uh, je suis allé. To a hotel. At an hotel. Yes, yeah, say for me, at an hotel. À un hotel. Say for me, à un hotel. À un hotel. Lovely. And there was a pile. I'm not even inventing this. My brain wanted to come up with that word. There was a pile of clean white flannels. Gant de toilette. Gant de toilette. Yeah. There was a, like a little glove of toilet. You know. So um, there was a pile of clean white flannels. Uh, il y a. Il y avait. Il y avait. Un gant. Un so gant. a pile. Un tas. Un tas. Yeah, we had the word twice of flannel. Uh, un tas uh, de flannel. flannel. I, gave, I gave you the word just a few seconds ago. Come on. De grande toilette, yes? De grande toilette. Good, okay. And therefore. That's flannel, is grande toilette. One of the words, yeah. Like a little, oh. like, like, like a little glove thing that you put on and rub it. Yeah, okay. Um, um, if it's flannel as in like stop flanneling me, as in stop just talking rubbish and trying to butter me up or something, we'd say baratin, arrête ton baratin, arrête de me baratiner. Yeah. Um, um, do you know like BS, like stop your bullshit, your flannel, like yeah. Um, I never heard that so far. Um, you haven't heard the word flannel used that way in American English? No, I just know it as like a pattern, like a flannel shirt. Okay, yeah, 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 okay. Um, that's like a, a fabric, isn't it? Rather than the yeah, yeah, yeah. rather than the like, it's not like plaid where it's like the um pattern. It's the it's the fabric. So it's just, yeah. Um um. 
One second, the draw is going back in. The organised draw is going back in. Um. Oh. oh, I feel mentally marvellous. So save me now. Uh, maintenant. Just found a damn great sucker. Just, <laughs> I, I, des I deserve, um, I deserve um, a coffee. Uh, maintenant, je mérite uh, un café. Lovely. You're going to accompany me. Uh, tu vas accompagner. M'accompagner. Accompagner de moi. Tu vas m'accompagner. Just no, tu vas m'accompagner. Uh, tu vas m'accompagner. 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 Just these lovely vowels that you've been using. M'accompagner. M'accompagner. Lovely. We are going to the, ca the cafe. I can't say coffee and cafe in English at the same time. I just have to win it. <laughs> we are going to the cafe. Um, nous allons au cafe. Yeah. To buy a coffee. Uh, pour, uh, pour acheter un cafe. Good. Um, because, do you know what? This dick. Yesterday, I couldn't care less. He had no videos, no followers. I just couldn't care less. I try and make content for everybody. But I was talking about how various things hurt in a video. And I was talking about it in different ways. And I was then going into French. And this guy was like, oh, yeah, do you know what I do when I really want to bore people? I talk about how much things hurt. And he like left this comment. And I was like, my channel, my rules, bitch. Do you yeah. know what I mean? I really, really was. And then I was also like, um... I was a bit like, well, A, as you know, I have a policy where I try and talk about health because I'm like, don't be sneaky, because otherwise it makes people who've got things to deal with feel alienated and non-normal, which is, you know, like if I'd have read about me five years ago in, in some magazine, I'd been, oh, sad, turn the page. And now I'm like, no, people are normal. People have stuff that they have to deal with. There's people yeah. I love who have anxiety. It's part of their life. They do amazing things. They teach amazing classes, but, you know, they have anxiety. Yeah. Um, there's people I know who, you know, I was talking about somebody this morning. There's somebody I know who, not that you would seek this out, but who's HIV positive and is completely undetectable and he's totally sorted his life out and whatever, whatever, whatever. I'm not saying HIV positive is a sign of not being organised, but in his case, sadly, it was. He was kind of doing something a bit, you know, crazy. Um, and it's literally been the making of him. Like he's so yeah. organized on top of his meds, super, super healthy. So I'm just like, I'm, I'll talk about damn medication and I'll talk about, well, I'm not on any medication, but I'll talk about like pain and stuff. Yeah. And this asshole was just like, oh, I find this really boring. I was just like, well, sling your hook, <laughs> go yeah. away. No one cares. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. Could you not find in the other 1,200 videos yeah. of, that I've done something else you could watch in French? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm really sorry. Is that like, is that? Is that too much of a delay for you? The 10 seconds I might have spoken about that. <laughs> Good. So save me. Unfortunately, uh, there is always this kind of idiot. Uh, il y a toujours uh, ce genre de choses. Lovely muscle memory, but ce genre d'idiot. De idiot. <laughs> ce genre de idiot. Link, didio. Didio. Okay. Or de, de connard. Or de con. Okay. Um, um, now, what's the compound expression we want? It's part of. Ça fait partie. Yes, yeah, ça fait partie. <coughs> ça fait partie. Du monde. Du monde. Of the world. Good. I'm going to ring you right back. Your vocab has been exquisite. Your vocab has been through the roof. Well done. Um, I'll call you right back for your remaining 15. Um,